Okay, you take it 14 guys. You take it 14. Okay, what are the factors of 14 guys? What are the factors of 14? What are all the factors of 14? You have one, you have two, you don't have three, you don't have four, you don't, you have seven, you have seven and you have 14, right? Eliminate this one and this one and you add, add two plus seven. What is this two plus seven? There's nothing but what? Uh, two plus seven, two plus seven, two plus seven. Mm, nine, nine is not equal to 14. Okay, fine, no problem. So just take it as 26. You tell me for 26 guys. For 26, one is there. Then next one is two is there. Three is not there. Okay. Three is not there. Four, you cannot do it. Five, you cannot do it. Six, you cannot do it. Seven, you cannot do it. Eight, you cannot do it. Nine, you cannot do it. Ten, no. Eleven, no. Twelve, no. Thirteen, you can do it. Right? Twelve plus thirteen, again, it is cannot. It is not possible. Let me twenty-eight. Let me twenty-eight. Uh, tell me for twenty-eight. One is two. One is four. Six, you have it. No, six, you don't have it. Seven, no. Eight, no. Nine, no. Ten, no. Eleven, no. Twelve, no. Thirteen, no. 14, yes. 14 plus 4. Mm. 14 plus 4. Nope. 18, 18 plus 2, 20. All right? It is not possible. Let me read us for 24. No, I'm just guessing it whether we can do it or not. One is 4. Other one is 6. Okay. Uh, 6. Uh, 8, 3s are. Right? 24. 8. And the other one is what? Uh, 12. Right? Do it for this one, guys. 12 plus 2. Oh, this will cross the number. Right? This will cross the number. Uh, there was one number which will exactly will be equal for the factors. For this 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 28 plus 7 आता है? Okay, yeah. If I tell it as 28 plus 7 आ गया तो होता हो सकता है क्या? Like 14 plus 4, 8, 8, uh, 20, uh, and 1, right? So if I add this one, I will get it the factors, right? I will get the factor, right? So if I add the factors, I'll get the original number. Okay, I'll get the original number. If I get the original number, then you print it. What you'll print it? You will print yo. Okay, else you print zo. Uh, you 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 print it or else you print it zozo so, so. right if the condition is true if the factors if you sum the factors you will get it if it is getting an equal number then you print it yo yo or else you print it zozo so, so. huh? it has like uh, for loop for uh, uh, from one you will start it until uh, less than n you will do it you will not count for the 28 right you will not count for 28 you will start from one and you tell it as Less than n. Instead of telling less than n, can you do it as n uh, less than or equals to n by 2? You can do it. n by 2 till n by 2 itself, you're doing it, right? So after that, what will do it? Uh, uh, I plus plus, right? So I plus plus will do it. So we'll just set it as if uh, if n modulus of i, if n modulus of i equal equal to 0, then what will do it? So we'll just set it as sum plus i, you will do it. Sum plus is equals to i, you will do it, right? Sum plus is equals to i, you will do it. Right, this goes on like this. If this goes on like this, after this, what I will do it if it is like uh, some equal equals to n, you will tell it some equal equal to n, then you will print it u or else you print it so it's all correct, it's modulus, right? So it's, it will become very simple, right? So when you have like mathematics is plotted, plotted, okay, it's easy to write the program, right? It is very much easy to write a program, right? So I'll I'll just quickly I'll finish it. So uh, today's main topic is like macros, so I want to is that macros today okay all the all the things in the macros and this functions this this program i'll tell you what you need to do it okay this program i'll tell you what you need to do it 
वी आई डे सेवेंटीन हो गया एटीन डॉट सी आई आज इंक्लूड एस टी डी आई वो डॉट एच इंट मी right so in some main function what i'll do it i'll just tell it has like uh, some factor i will tell it right i'll tell it has what some factor some factor right i'll call this some factor number i'll just tell it as n right so i want to call this n so i'll just tell it has like int n i will tell it int n i'll just tell it as scan f scan f i'll just tell it as percentage uh, d percentage d and I'll tell it has what a uh, ambient of ambient of n right ambient of n I'll tell it right ambient of n I'll tell it. I'll call this I'll just tell it as if it is true if this is true then right some fact I'll tell it if it is true what I'll do it I'll just tell it as print f I'll just tell it as percentage d I'll just tell it as yo 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 I'll tell it right so i'll just tell us you, you so what i'll do it percentage uh, n i will tell it sorry n i will tell it. just n i will tell it right if this is false guys if this is false what i'll do it i'll just tell it as printf and i'll do it as percentage d i'll just tell it as zozo right zozo i'll just tell it as like this and i'll close this done so i want to construct this method right i want to construct this method so i'll just tell it as like some fact fact right i'll accept this one parameter int n only i'll accept it and i'll enter this right here what i need to do it i need to tell it as for uh for int i equals to one i starts from one i less than or equals to n divided by two and i'll let as i plus plus i plus plus done with this okay over here what i need to do it over here i need to just check it out one logic if i sorry n modulus of n more or less of i if it is equal equal to zero or else i can put it as what i can put it as not not operation right negation operation so this will be good for me right over here what i need to do it i'll just tell it as like sum plus is equals to i i will tell it so i value i need to count it so i'll declare the value called as sum sum equal to what sum equal to what guys sum equal to zero i'll tell it I will return in such a way that R E T U R in return if sum is equal equals to E N. That's it done. So this is how I'll return it. So what this will return it the boolean value. Here you don't have any boolean value. So what I'll do it now? I'll just tell it as integer itself, right? Zero or one I will return it. So I'll tell it as integer itself, right? So I'll come here and I'll tell it has how how I'll tell it? I'll tell it has like uh, int. I'll just tell it as sum f a c t fact, right? Some fact. Some fact integer I will tell it. Right, I will do the method declaration. Right, so this will become either it will be one, either it or it will be zero. Any one one condition it will be right. So I'll come here. I'll come here. Wait, so there's nothing but eighteenth file. I need to open it. Okay, warnings you have it. What is the warning you have it? Uh, warning, warning, warning. Some warning. It should not be like this. What is the warning, guys? Some fact is. Uh, S U M F A C T. Okay, okay, got it, got it, got it, got it. Always I do this, right? Always I do this, right? I'll just do dot slash here dot O U T R, right? So if I enter this twenty eight, so I have output called as U U, right? So if I tell it as like uh, fourteen, right? Any other number, so I'll get it as what? So so, right? My program is working fine. I hope so. I believe it. But I need to know how many numbers are there. A range I want to calculate it, right? When I want to calculate the range, guys, what I'll do it now? I want to read the range, right? Start and end index, right? Guys, start and end index. I'll just read it n and m, right? Comma m I will read it. Comma m I will read it. Okay, so or else I'll just tell it as i j I'll read it. I comma or else I'll just as start comma n I will tell it. Start and end, right? That will be really more most understand. Start. Comma ambient end, ambient end. I will tell it, right? So here I will tell it as two percentage d, percentage d, percentage d, right? I will just tell it as for uh, int n equals to int n equals to st. I will tell it start index. Uh, I is less than or equal to n index. I will tell it, and then I will tell it as i plus plus, right? Sorry, n plus plus. 
sorry n plus plus i'll tell it here and again here i'll just write as n is less than or equals to l delta then this n is less than or equals to l delta so the remaining things is one on the same set nothing to worry about it right so if i go on printing this if i if i go on printing this i'll just say it as like uh, i'll compile this i'll compile this i'll just tell it as like uh, uh this this i will tell it as one two hundred right one two hundred okay so majority number are zozo only right yo yo any number guys you don't have any yo number ah 28 only 28 is a yo right other numbers it's gone ultimately gone okay in entire in this i have like this right so okay i don't want this zoo guys right? so i'll come here so i'll just sell it as like if i don't want this zoo i'll just sell it as like uh, i'll remove this zoo right i'll just sell it as one here right so i'll just check it out whether for other numbers it is coming or not i'll compile this and i will get the output for this so i'll just sell it as one two thousand i'll check it out any numbers yeah you have six six is the number yeah you have six is the number and 28 is the number and 496 is the number right you get those kind of numbers so you know, the factors you can have it and you add it and you get it right so same thing i'll i'll check it out with 1 to 10000 from 1 to 10000 right in 10000 there is one number what is that number is called as 8128 right so i'll now just check it out from 1 to from 1 to uh 1 lakh i'll check it out right so 1 to 1 lakh i'll check it out okay in 1 lakh also it is just proce proceeding it so these are all the numbers you have it like 628 and 496 and 8128 okay so iska factor card hai to aapko mil jata hai ki ha hai bhai iska hai okay